Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. So this video is a super speed speed it up, but it's because the process takes so long. Um, if I left it at normal speed, it would be like 40 minutes long. But um, this is just another embellished pour that um, I did. And actually this one has been sold. But it turned out really, really pretty. Um, but the idea behind these, um, if you've not seen any of my other ones, is sometimes um, my pores dry and they have flaws in them. Maybe they crack a little bit. Or <sighs> used to in my old art room, bugs would get in my pores and it would have like a streak going down it, you know. And it's just imperfections that I don't want to present as like this is my art um because there's noticeable flaws in it um but it's it would just be small things and um i don't usually paint over canvases that are dry just because i found that that um a lot of times it still has texture and stuff like that i just personally don't do it um you know i know a lot of artists do and that's perfectly fine it's just preference um but instead of just like settling to the side or donating them you know to the salvation army or whatnot um i started looking through some that i had just you know that weren't perfect but it was just very minor flaws and i was like oh, i'm gonna repurpose these and add some embellishments um and so this is this is what I do and um this one I, I really really like how it came out um and you're probably you, you might be wondering well what was wrong with this one um on the edge I dragged when I did my swipe the um the acetate went all the way down to the canvas and like pulled the um a big part of the paint like the colored paint away and it just just wasn't it wasn't something i wanted you know to put my name on and say this is my artwork um in in that kind of way like just as it was so by adding the embellishments and stuff i do think it takes paint pouring more towards this is a bit controversial because there are, i mean there are people we have very strong opinions about paint pouring and oh it's not art it's crafts i don't personally i don't care what kind of label you put on it um i do it because it's fun and it relaxes me and de-stresses me so i don't argue with people about what label they want to put on paint pouring i don't care i think it's art but that's my opinion i don't care call it what you want to but i do think that it takes it more from the realm of art into like crafting sort of thing and that's okay too i mean i'm the one doing it so obviously i don't have a problem with it but um yeah it's it's really um been a topic of conversation over on uh tiktok people are very opinionated and sometimes they don't express those opinions very respectfully but um yeah so call it what you will call it crafting call it art i i really don't care it's not going to make me stop doing it whatever label someone puts on it um it's just fun <laughs> I, I i call it fun <laughs> um and therapy and yeah but um a lot of times it's just back and forth with pieces and embellishments um, and I might go to the craft store and find something that I think is pretty, like an embellishment, you know, a Tim Holtz package of something. And um, I don't have a specific project in mind, but I just know I'll use it um, in the future. And that's that's what this is. I just have a nice little stash of um, embellishments and whatnot. And then I just pull them out. And whenever I want them to do one of these, and, and we just have fun and, um, and, and just be creative and all that other stuff so yeah this, the most important thing is to have fun what one of my favorite things about doing these are putting those corners on the canvas like they just make me happy i don't know <laughs> they make me happy and i loved these um swirlies that i'm putting on it because these crystals are kind of like duochrome and they catch that purple um 
paint this on the canvas and it just makes it really like just shiny just give me all the shiny um yeah and of course i gotta add a butterfly i just have to i i feel incomplete without adding a butterfly to one of these um i would like to get some other insects though like ladybugs or bumblebees or something but for now it's the butterflies but these are the close-ups and i love that little spoon it's so cute i got forks and knives too but see how those are like duochrome they're really cool so anyway i love how this turned out and um like i said it's already sold which i don't sell my pizzas often but someone contacted me and said please can i buy this and i said sure um so yeah anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this short little video um and i will speak with you all very soon bye